All right, I want to talk to you today about uh, this game here. It's called Apples to Apples. Um, my one niece, I guess, got this for her birthday a couple years back, and uh, she really likes playing it. So it's a it's a nice little game, a fun little game to play when you're with family or friends and things. Uh, <clears throat> but recently, uh, another brother of mine actually sent this to my father. This one here is a Bible edition. And he sent this one to my father for Father's Day, I guess it was. And we were looking at this thing last night and it's just unreal what I found in it. Uh, so let me show you a little bit more detail. Alright, here's the close-up of the box. And I'll show you real quick. Here you have the green cards and you'll have the word, like there's the word daring and that will be somebody will read that as the word and then you have a couple of these that you're holding these red cards and it'll pillow fights or you know water guns and what you do is you you try to pick a red card that would closely match the green card clue so it's it's a fun little game you know no problem with this one and uh... Mm -hmm. But I just want to show you very quickly here in the Bible edition. It's, let me get the thing open here. It's very similar to the uh, little junior edition over there. Um, but this one <clears throat> has very much the same green cards, but then on the red cards, I'm going to have to zoom in here. On the red cards, you have instead of just uh, pillow fights or something like that, you will have Bible type words. And it says, you know, and then you got the uh, scripture here, and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And let me show you in the Bible quick here. Okay, here we have the King James Bible, uh, Revelation 8 4. And you can see it's the same thing. And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. All right. So these cards all have King James Version scriptures on them. Now, not only is it Bible type words, but they also have, we were also, we found some uh, heroes of the faith, men like Martin Luther, Charles Wesley you know, great men like that. But then we found a couple cards that were kind of, uh, well, they're not heroes of the faith. And I want to show you two of those right now. Here you have one of the cards, and look who's on it. Pope John Paul II. It says there, 1920 to 2005, Pope John Paul the Great. Redemption is always greater than man's sin. It's a shame he didn't get uh, redeemed. But uh, if you think that's bad, to include in a box of a, a game, a, a supposed Christian game, Bible edition, that has all King James Version scriptures in it. Look at this one. Ignatius of Loyola. 1491 to 1556. Reformer within the Catholic Church and founder of the Jesuits. Isn't that unbelievable? Here you have a supposed Bible edition game, and yet they include two lost heretics, two of the worst people ever. Pope John Paul II openly called for a new world order numerous times in his speeches. Okay? He was you know, one of the organizers of these World Parliament of Religions. They'd get all the religious leaders together and say, we're all praying to the same God. I mean, even if you're a Catholic, Pope John Paul II was a bad man for Catholicism. If, if Catholicism is the one true church, Pope John Paul II had other people from other churches coming over there. You know, he was a good friend of the Dalai Lama and all this. He was a bad man. And Ignatius of Loyola, Ignatius de Loyola, I mean, give me a break. The founder of the Jesuits? And they're putting him in with a, a scripture thing that has King James Version scriptures in it? Wow. Pretty bad. It's uh, Cactus Game Design Incorporated. CactusGameDesign.com. I haven't looked that up yet. I don't know. You know, maybe you'll get on there and I'll have a little 
uh, Alder to uh, Ignatius Loyola or something? Probably not, but you know, they aren't that obvious with it. At least I don't think. Uh, of course, it's made in China, but that's another issue. But this game was purchased from ChristianBook.com. Watch out for these people, okay? ChristianBook.com, if you've seen my documentary, uh, The Real Bible Version Issue Exposed, ChristianBook.com, you just go there and in the book search section, type in Catholic, and it will come up. When I did it a couple months back, it was over 5,000 results, and I didn't see any of them. I didn't go through all 5,000, but I didn't see the pages and pages and pages I looked at, none of them were against the Catholic Church. It was all pro-Roman Catholic. So this was the plan of Ignatius Loyola, okay? This was the plan of the Jesuits, was to bring all Protestants, all Bible believers, back under the authority of Rome, okay? The ecumenical movement is not all, you know, let's all come together and all celebrate our differences. No, it's bringing everybody back under the authority of Rome. Okay, and if you know your Bible prophecy, Revelation 17 and 18, you know where that's headed. So, watch out for this stuff. Okay, just incredible. I, I can, I'm still just kind of in shock that they would have put this into a Christian game with King James Version scriptures. But you see the level of infiltration here. You see the level of attacks. Just attacks from every angle on the King James Bible, okay? One of the ways that you know that this book right here is God's word for the English, His perfect word for the English-speaking people is the amount of attacks that are leveled against this book, okay? This is God's book. The others aren't. Thanks for watching.